A North Little Rock man is in the Pulaski County Jail tonight, facing 35 counts of forgery and drug charges. The man was arrested at a West Little Rock hotel early this morning. Fox 16's Mitch McCoy tracking the case tonight. He's in the newsroom with what police are saying this evening. Yeah, they're saying a lot. Kevin and Donna, good evening to you both. The arrest happened at the Extended Stay Hotel. Police documents show officers found fake cash, drugs, even a BB gun. Tonight, 28-year-old Michael Morris facing 25 counts of forgery, possession of meth, and drug paraphernalia charges. In town from Texas, Rudy Armstrong and his wife Joyce have concerns about their next door neighbor. So we're going to be out and wandering the streets. Rudy says an early Friday morning arrest at the Extended Stay America Hotel on Harding has him thinking twice about his travel plans. A little shocked. I mean, I, I don't know that much about the area, but yeah, anytime, anytime you have a drug problem, yeah, that's, that's concerning to everybody. An arrest report shows officers found meth, counterfeit $50 bills, two scales, two pipes, a BB gun, and pills in 28-year-old Michael Moore's hotel room. I was kind of concerned knowing that right next door there was a potential uh, problem. All black, you know, bulletproof vest. Anwar Dabadio's brother stays at the Extended Stay America in West Little Rock. He says earlier this week, authorities arrested another man. Busted in, he heard sheriff's department, search warrant, search warrant, grabbed the guy, dragged him out of the room. An evening stroll for this couple, but Rudy says they'll be in early before the sun sets. We'll be in the hotel at night and at the wedding tomorrow. You heard a little bit about that alleged arrest that happened earlier this week. I've reached out to the Pulaski County Sheriff's Office to learn more about what uh, supposedly happened. We have not heard anything back from them. So, so far, we have not been able to confirm anything like that. Bond has not been set yet in Moore's arrest. In the newsroom, Mitch McCoy, Fox 16 News. Donna? Well, it looks like you have a lot of people talking about this because obviously, you know, a lot of people want to go to the extended stay. You expect to have a nice stay there. I'm wondering if you had a chance to talk to anyone at this hotel to see what they're saying. Yeah, we put a phone call into them earlier tonight. We have not heard back yet. That'll, of course, be something that uh, we're interested in hearing back. So if there were two arrests at this hotel uh, just this week, that will be concerning to a lot of people, not mm -hmm. just who work in that area, but live in that area, especially tourism. So uh, as soon as we hear back, we'll be sure to let people know, especially on our website at fox16.com. Sounds good. All right. Thank you, Mitch.